I'm going to, pre to present the Ice Cube story. A story of a journey of an ice cube through phases. Prim was a red ice cube. He was a big fan of the Hunger Games. He had a mocking deep in, she had a braid. And of course, she watched the movies. One day she was watching the games like every day. But then everything turned dark. So is it? The TV was working. And all she could think is, what is going on? She felt her molecules separating, losing her shape. At least she had a marking tape in on, though. Diana, the girl who lives in the house, was singing. And then she saw her. She collected all the water that was spread and brought it into the washroom. She floated with the river and after a very long time something happened. She washed out into the sea. Into the sea. She went to Mermaid and her name was Cleo. And because of Prim wondering all the time when she will go to the sky, she asked the mermaid. They became fast friends and Cleo gave her some magic so she could go to the, to the clouds. She felt her molecules separating again and even more, losing her volume and shape. She went to the, she turned into a cloud. She met she met a dragon, her name was Sophia. They became fast fast friends. And Sophia blowed her fire so Prem could go even farther. Her molecules separated again. Still no shape, still no volume. She went up to the to the to space because she was turning into plasma. And then she went to take a horn. And they became fast friends too. Her name was Luna. Luna gave her some magic because Prim was really missing her home. She wanted to go home again. And she gave her some magic again. Prim got a horn and wings like Luna. She used the magic to go back to Earth. Her mind pulls on closer and she turned into a cloud again. At least she had her marking tape pin on. She went to fear again. They talked a little. And then she used her and then Prim used her magic again. To go back to, to the water. Because she was still missing home. Her molecules came closer. And she came back to Earth. Or even closer, actually. She turned back into the liquid. She turned into water. She met Cleo, the mermaid. And they talked. At least Prim had a rocking tape pin on. Then she came back the way she came. Using back to Earth. She used magic. She turned back into ice. Her molecules coming closer getting her volume and shape back. She invited everybody to come to watch some of the Hunger Games. After Prim made friends with Sophia the Dragon, Luna the Pegacorn, and Cleo the Mermaid, they all had fun. She invited them over after it was all over to watch the Hunger Games. And yeah, they'll cat go Katniss. And, and that was what Prim used to do. But this time, she went lonely. She had friends. She was exhausted from the journey. From all the face changes. Liquid. Gas. And back. And then plasma. And then back to gas. Back to liquid. 
back to the side after all that long time. Everybody was changed. Everybody had fun though. Prim had had a bigger corn horn and wing, and she had all. She also had wings. She also had uh, stripes, including my cropping. Sophia could breathe fire in words, in shape of words, of course. And she always, instead of shouting, she always, well, breathed fire names. Luna? Well, she was on you. She could now use the magic of fire and water. And she could even freeze stuff. Because she gave her magic to Prim. Prim gave herself of herself. And exchange, including being friends. And since then, Prim stood in her refrigerator. And Jana, she would sometimes open the refrigerator and watch with them. It was kind of impossible because the television was tiny, but it worked. And at the end, nobody was lonely. At least, Prim had her marking JP on. The end. Prim still has a marking day pen on. And she got one for Sapphira the dragon. She got one for Luna, the pegacorn. And Phil, she didn't need one. She already had one. That's how they became fast friends. The end. By the way, did I mention Prim still has a marking day pen on?